cooking up a feast, but there'll be no guests tonight. Passover dinner at the Evian household will be a lot quieter this year. Tonight we're just the two of us. In the past years we were with all my family and cousins, extended family. We used to have from 18 to 65, 70 people. Their children are instead dropping by to collect the traditional meals to share with their families. So it's still giving of love over even if we can't be together. According to Orthodox Jewish customs, technology cannot be used on religious holidays. It means no video chats to share Passover experiences with each other. The best joy as a grandparent is watching your grandkids say all the little prayers and do all the little things and all of a sudden there's just the two of us staring at each other at one little table. Rabbis have also had to adapt. The great synagogue in Sydney is usually packed with 400 worshippers for Passover, but Rabbi Benjamin Elton has pre-recorded messages ahead of the celebration. And also encouraging people to Zoom before the uh, festival begins so that they can reach out and make contact and, and check in and then go into the days of the festival themselves when they'll be uh, less able to use electronic technology. Passover lasts for two days and this year is directly followed by the Sabbath. For Orthodox Jews, it means three days of being completely offline and abiding by social distancing rules during one of the most important times for the Jewish community to come together. But for David Evian, there are also positives in celebrating in solitude. I suppose it's going to make us appreciate what we've had and what we can look forward to and not take anything for granted. A time to reflect on the meaning of sacrifice and freedom. Lydia Feng, ABC News, Sydney.